new era beckons for ISRO, which is, of course, the country's National Space Agency. 2025 is expected to be a landmark year, and at the helm of ISRO will be Dr. V. Narayanan, who will succeed S. Somanathan as the ISRO chairman on January 14. Before we wrap this bulletin, uh, we leave you with this exclusive interview with Dr. Narayanan on his journey so far, the upcoming ISRO missions, and also how India can rule the space in the years to come. Take a look. Dr. V. Narayanan, a distinguished scientist at ISRO, will formally take over as the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organizations in a few days. He's joining us today for this exclusive conversation, sir. Firstly, congratulations. Uh, you know, the last time I was speaking to Mr. Somnath, I was telling him that, you know, uh, the entire country today is hoping for good news always from ISRO. Now, you will be taking over that responsibility. How does this feel, sir? Uh, it's, I consider it as a great privilege and honor uh, to get this important assignment. And uh, it is so heartening that Honorable Prime Minister is having great faith on me and the entire organization with that uh, he has given. So I have to be so grateful to, first of all, Honorable Prime Minister. And I am sure with the type of working culture team available in ISRO, we will take forward the space activities to much, much greater heights. Well, uh, you're here in Bengaluru. Tomorrow there's a big event that is uh, lined up as well, uh, the uh, docking of the SpaceX uh, satellites. This is something that is considered as a, a big, big event, considering the fact that only three other countries have done it before. Even as far as Chandrayaan was concerned, India, of course, joined the big league of Russia, of US and China. Tomorrow, once again, this is another opportunity. Apart from this, you know, there are multiple other missions and all of this will fall upon your shoulder, isn't it, sir? Uh, it is not on me alone. Yeah. It is on 17,500 uh, team yeah. of ISRO. Yeah. So the entire responsibility is there. And with the entire team together, we are going to execute the activities for uh, serving this country. In fact, as you rightly told, tomorrow we are having an important uh, the SpaceX talking experiment, yeah. which is going to pay way for the future missions like Chandrayaan-4, uh, the space station building, future uh, sending human being to moon uh, because for sending uh, for building the space station for example we cannot uh, use big rockets to send the entire space station we have to take small small small, small models and dock yeah. uh, in the space also chandrayaan 4 chandrayaan 3 was a 4000 kg satellite this is a 9200 kg per satellite with available launch vehicle two vehicles we are going to use to take the modules and we are going to build dock rather in the space so yeah. thereby tomorrow experiment is a foundation work for all these things then as you all know the Gaganyan program we are all working Absolutely. and uh, then uh, Gaganyan first time the human in uh, is going to be interfaced with the rocket and the entire system we have to develop a lot of things first of all the human right launch vehicle uh, crew escape system environmental control and safety system all developments are going in the best possible way in the ISRO centers and we are going to accomplish this mission. And the first uncrewed mission is targeted a couple of months from now. We are yet to decide the dates, but the couple of months from now. Uh, and of course, this month itself we are going to launch the navigation, uh, second generation navigation satellite, second satellite, uh, NVS-02, using our, our own developed uh, GSLV Mark II vehicle. The activities are going on well in Sri Rikota, the launch complex. Then we are going to have a commercial uh, US-based satellite launch by our LVM-3 vehicle activities are initiated yeah. and first uncrewed mission that activity is going on and uh, next important thing is you all know the PSLV vehicle we have we are, I mean five vehicle we are given to industrial you know, partners yeah. so they are building the first vehicle called L1 yeah. is going to be launched maybe a couple of months and in that we are going to have a TDS uh, satellite in which we are going to demonstrate lot of uh, new technologies and there are so much activities involved. Uh, Among all of this, I, I would like to ask you, uh, is there something that you're looking forward to? You did mention, of course, the Indian uh, Space Station. You did mention Gaganyan. Uh, you know, there is, of course, the Aditya mission as well. There's so much that's in the pipeline. And the Chandrayaan 4, like you mentioned, is there something that you're looking forward to? Sir? Uh, looking forward is with the wholehearted support of the entire team, ISRO, the entire activities. Whatever we have uh, targeted, uh, we are going to take it forward. Another important thing is, you all know, 1980 we had successfully launched the first SLV-3 yeah. and India joined the Space Club. 
of the elite nations to have the capability. We launched only a 35 kg satellite. Now we are going to develop a next generation launcher called the NGLV capable of 30,000 kg to low earth orbit for that the design activities are going on across the centers and that activities also has to be taken forward. Basically, ISRO program is meant for serving the country. We are serving in a very big way in terms of communication, in terms of uh, disaster warning and management, in, in terms yes. of earth observation and in terms of uh, so many activities are going on and uh, with the available team yes. and we strongly believe the organization and the countries above individuals with yes. the team available, we will do great job for serving this country. So it's been a golden decade, you could say, for the Indian uh, space uh, the, you know, research organization, especially with the success of Chandrayaan. Uh, now, you know, you're looking forward at the uh, Gaganyaan mission, which everybody is talking about. Uh, tell us your future plan, sir. If you could, just in brief, I know you're short of time at this point in time, just in brief, your future plan for ISRO. So my future plan is to ensure all people in the organization is happily working, happily contributing for the country and with only one thing, Honorable Prime Minister is very clear, we have to make our country as a developed country before we celebrate 100 years of independence and space is really going to contribute towards that mission. And if you take the satellite requirement, it's a huge requirement, Honorable Prime Minister has already rolled out the space sector reform. So we are hand-holding all the industries and the other communities for contributing the space. So I will also strengthen that system of uh, hand-holding the private uh, partners and startup companies for contributing the space activities. Also, ensure the entire team ISRO is working in a very, very happy environment, in an excellent environment to bring out their best possible thing for taking our country to greater and greater heights through the space program. The smile on your face probably says that you're going to ensure that everybody at ISRO, all, the, all, all your team members and everyone is going to be smiling. Lastly, you know, you did mention, of course, uh, to somewhere uh, put India on the global space map. Something, you hinted on, on those lines. Tell us how important is that for India to become a global space player. We already are at this point in time, but to take it to another level. No, we are already in a couple of places. We are in the global map. For example, take Chandrayaan 3. Yes. We were the first country to soft land near the South Pole. Yes. A country which started those days, I still remember. Uh, I joined 41 years back. The rocket parts used to be moved in uh, bicycles uh, and uh, there was a satellite we were moving in Bullock also. Those uh, sketches are there, it is all reality those days. From that, today we have come a long way, we are in a very comfortable situation and we are not competing with anybody. We are going to serve through the space program for the common man of this country. That is what is our target and we are going to work towards that. So congratulations once again and wishing you the very best, sir. Thanks a lot.